My name's Brendan Keeney. I'm director of Greenwich Dance. Um, and I've uh, observed Kanduko Dance Company pretty much since they started. Um, I was working at the Arts Council when they first applied for what was then called franchise funding. It was their first proper serious money. Um, and I was in charge of the, that application when it came to the Arts Council. And um, I remember when we presented the uh, application to the dance panel, um, I remember on my notes, and it wasn't quite as simple as this, but I, I remember saying that you know, we, we had to fund this company now because we had no idea how long this, this thing would last. It seemed like an, at that time it seemed like an ethereal thing and we thought it might be past its sale by a day early. Um, yes. And the worst thing in the world would be, to, would, give it, would be to give it some money a little bit later, possibly when it had been a spent artistic force. How wrong could I have been 20 years later here they are, this amazing company, doing great things, celebrating in this space. It's just been a lovely, lovely evening. So happy birthday, Ken Duco. I love you. When I started with Celeste, we were just two of us with Adam in a little cupboard in the Larbon Centre. And I don't think anybody felt or realised that it was going to be as big and as successful as it turned out to be. Um, and now the Pedro and Sting are leading the company, I can see huge, brilliant, wonderful things for the company in the future. Happy birthday, Kanduko. Wind extends like flag, raises dust, loose paper, and moves small branches. The swaying of skyscrapers may be felt, Cars veer off road. Stage six. Uh, my name is Mark Wu. I dance with the Kenduko from 2003 to 2008, which were very much uh, five years of adventure, excitement, and uh, a turning point very much in, in my career, having to travel from Australia to join such a company as Kenduko. Um, to be able to have the experience to perform um, on a professional level uh, as a dancer with a disability. My name's Emma Gladstone. I'm on the board of Kanduko and I program and produce work at Sadler's Wells. And I just want to say well done for keeping going for quite this long, in quite such a spectacular manner. And I still think that they're one of the bravest companies around in terms of who they commission and how they present their work and who they work with, and hats off to them. Performance art stuff, yes. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, I'm, just, I'm giving birth. What can I say? 20 years of Candico, um, a company that literally changed my life. Um, I was lucky really to be involved very early on, early days, at the very beginning, and they certainly changed everything for me. Um, what can I tell you?
because I first came across Kanduko when I was a student um, and I met both Stina and Pedro at Laban. And then I kept kind of doing workshops and then I did a week residency and then I did about four auditions. <laughs> and I worked in the office and I worked in the education department and on the foundation course and for the youth dance company, which were all amazing, amazing, amazing. But really, at the end of it, I wanted to be a Kanduko dancer. So I came to the workshop and there was Charlotte Derbyshire and John French teaching. And I made a duet together with Laura Jones, who's now a founder member of Stop Gap. And that was my first practical experience of Kanduka. And I think that's when I thought, actually, you know, this is really, this is really exciting because this is doing what I believe contemporary dance should do, which is to think about new ways of moving, new ways of thinking about movement, what is it, and how do I challenge myself to keep on finding new ways to move. Hello, um, I'm Celeste Andica. Um, I'm one of the co-founders of Kanduka Dance Company. 20 years ago we started, and I actually can't believe, you know, this year is our 20th anniversary. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm so proud of the company. Um, I was artistic director until 2007, um, and have enjoyed every single moment of it. It's been tough, it's been fun. The dancers have been incredible, the staff are wonderful. If you've never seen Kanduko, come and see the company and see what wonderful work they do, the artistry, the excellent teaching they do. How can I say it? I'm just as proud and number one fan.